What is going on guys and welcome to Chinese horror game Firework. So the story takes place in a smaller village where accidental fire at the funeral forces a rookie police officer to reinvestigate a closed case of a massacre. The case becomes more bewildering as it goes deeper. So this game is not available in English yet, but my plan is to translate Chinese to English and add captions for you guys. This will be a lot of work, but the game seems to be really good, so I'm hoping this will be well worth it. I did get a bit lucky since the demo of this game is actually in English, so I will have to combine demo and full game later on to make this a little bit easier on me. Okay, here we go. Alright, pretty simple controls. Uh, you can actually play this with controller or keyboard. Ghosts love to feed on karma, tearing apart bones and sucking out the marrow of sinners, inflicting endless suffering. Man, that's deep. Okay. So I am assuming I'm one of these guys. Uh, they address as officers, right? Zhang, so weird the car stalls for no reason. Lin, Mr. Zhang, the informant is still waiting in town. Why not just leave the car here? No worry for that. Also, fire is off our hands. But now the car is broken. We must get scolding if Captain Lu knows it. Captain Lou is a friendly guy. You're new here, you don't know her. Yes. <laughs> so it's a she, it's not a guy. If she knew the car broke down on the tasks, she might say... Ha, ah, did not tell you to take good care of the car? Suppose that you're hunting for criminals, endangering public security, and the car breaks down. Can you imagine the cons consequences? So I'll try to fix it. I'm good at this. Thanks for the trouble. Come on, we are colleagues. The flash is almost out of battery. Uh, go and buy battery for me, okay? I think the car's name, <laughs> nickname is Flash. There should be some grocery store in the street. Sure. Okay, yep, I'm one of these guys. Half an hour ago, a coffin caught fire for no reason during the funeral in Quinkan Town. The informant says someone deliberately set the fire. Zing and me were sent here to see what has happened. This is the first case I handled after becoming a criminal investigator. He's a rookie. Okay, game auto says, which is good. Uh, believe in science, do away with superstition. Okay, that was right in the wall. Quintag is a secluded mountain town where many superstitious customs are retained. So this is a small village, small town. Okay, so he sent me to buy a battery, I believe. Uh, on the counter is a basin full of paper ash with occasional wisps of fire. Hello? Uh, shop owner, I just woke up. Can I help you? A number one battery, please. Here you are, Yan. The Yan or something. You got the battery. Okay, so we got the battery. Now, do we go back? Do we keep going to see what's up up here? Give the batteries to Zing. Okay, we have to go back. There you go, buddy. I got the battery. Thanks, I'll fix the car and you go to the scene to check out things there. Since you're new here, it's a good chance for you to get familiar with the place. Alright. Okay, so we are going somewhere to, some, to investigate the scene. The coffin got burned somehow during the funeral. That's what I got so far. 
Uh, the mowering hole is on the right. Okay. Wait a minute. Wasn't I just here? Didn't we just pass by here? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. While walking, press shift. Okay. I'm actually playing on this controller. It's pretty, pretty simple. Oh, what is this? Red blood. Who's this from the wall? Okay, we got red blood. Again, <laughs> not again. Uh, what is going on? Yeah, there's something new here now. Red blood oozes from the wall stuck with two bills. Okay, there are two bills stuck in the blood. Therefore, the batteries. What? What's the matter? Weird. Okay, now what? There's a door now. The rusty door appears in the wall. Okay. Pretty little depth. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's the name of this place or something or. A letter lays on the table. Wang, the kiosk owner, died of illness. For his funeral, a customer ordered six wreath, wreaths, wreaths, two paper dolls, and two candles, which will be delivered in three days. Okay. Must be some kind of tradition, right? It is inscribed two days ago. So the funeral mentioned by the informant was for the shop, to shop owner. Then who is the guy we met at the shop? Okay, so that's weird. That shop owner is supposed to be dead. There's a you unlit candle on the table. Oh, cool. We got a candle. We need to light it. Okay, how do I light the candle? From another candle, yeah, obviously. To light the candle, yes. Yes. Now we can see clearly. Check the house. The pepper doll has an account book in the hand. September 23rd, Wang borrows 5 grams of eggs and owns Wang, a different Wang, uh, 250. C borrows a bottle of soybean oil and owes Wang 16. Uh, Lin borrows. Hey, that's me! Borrows a battery, unknowns wing two RMB. I'm not sure what RMB is, some kind of Chinese currency. Yeah, so it stands for Ren Min B, which means like people's money. So it is Chinese currency. The date is today. Why is my name on it? Okay, that is weird. You got the account book. You can check the items on the menu page. Okay, I have a candle and a ledger. I can view it too. Okay, that's what I just picked up. This is the account book I'm speaking of. Okay, go here next. There's no way ahead. Oh! She just fell out of the chair? <laughs> Holy crap, she did! Okay, um, hmm, I'll just keep going, I guess.
Okay, do we continue this way? A sheet of paper lies on the chair. If you take a dead person's belongings, you will owe a debt to the dead. And if you don't return them in time, you will be plagued by a mal malady and even your family will be doomed. Return the things as soon as possible to avoid catastrophe. So I borrowed that battery from the dead dude. And now I owe him debt because he's dead. Oh my god. You got volume one, Depth of the Dead. Okay, um... Yeah, that's all it says. Or maybe it wasn't the shop owner. Maybe it was somebody else who just gave me shop owner's belongings. And the shop, shop owner is dead. And now I owe him money. At the center of the... No, I don't owe him money. He's gonna... Bad thing is gonna happen to me if I don't bring the belongings back. At the center of the board, posted an obituary. Uh, elementary school support teacher passed away at the age of 27. Okay. It's blacked out where the name is written. Okay, elementary teacher is probably important. Uh, the wall is a pool of undried blood and two hell money on it. Hell money. Hmm. Yeah, I got them. Is that the money I paid him? Because I paid two, uh, those ran mean bees. So many questions. Uh, wisps. A fire jumped out from the basin from time to time. Does the money offering to the basin? Uh, yes, yes, yes. The money offering is burnt to ash. Yeah, maybe, hopefully that's a good thing. I can see the road ahead. How to save. Ah, sorry, drink of water. Oh my god, she got blood coming out of her eyes. Look at that. What is she pointing at? Can't interact with her. At the center of the board, post it. Okay. Yeah, I already read this. Oh, we got something new here. Where are the families of the diseased? Check out the scene first. The candles on the table quivered with red light, reflecting the black and white portrait of the diseased. It was the man at the shop. Ah, oh, so it was the same guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Some spooky paper dolls. Oh, those are paper dolls. Okay, they're not actually people. It's hard to tell, you know. Okay, so there's a phone on the on top of a coffin, right? So we see the legs or the feet, I guess. One one zero. Investigate where coffin lid. Okay. On the coffin lid, put a telephone along the line. You can see the head handset in the coffin. Okay, I think what they mean is like there's a telephone on top of the coffin. The last number dialed was 110. The call was made about the game same time as the police answered it. You should probably write this down, right? 110? Just in case. Okay. What's in the coffin? The remains lay inside the coffin and the clothes are burnt and mutilated. The interior of the coffin was blackened by smoke smelling like gunpowder. It is the smell of gunpowder. Why is this in the coffin? Investigate where? Around the coffin? 
wreaths and paper doll near the notch were blackened by smoke, but there were no signs of burning. The fire probably started within the coffin and did not spread beyond it. Oh, he burned or something. Wow. Okay, that's it, right? It is weird, unlike normal fire. I need to tell Zing about this. Okay, uh, Zeng is the guy with the, uh, the the very beginning, right, with the car. My colleague. That's a weird sound. Oh, hi. And she's gone. That's a, that's a shop, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I can't go there. Oh, what? Pepper dolls. The coffin appears on the road. There's a dusty roll of ledgers on the counter. You're the next. You are next. Deb, Deb, yeah, I own the money. <laughs> oh, I need to bring the batteries back. You can't escape the dead. Whoa! The word dead is written all over the face of the portrait. Okay. Um, that's not good for me. I should probably be going the other way. Now he's looking at me. Yeah, the portion gazes to the left. Okay, still to the left. Still to the left. Okay, so let's go this way. Okay, here we go. Where's where's Zeng in his car? He took off. Um, who's there? Firework. Yeah, I'm assuming that's the demo. So I have to start playing the full game now and do some translations. Um, see what happens here. What do you see this time? Or maybe not. Maybe that's not over yet. Uh, I see white cloud of smoke. Anything else? A car. A black pierce. Driving slowly. I don't know what that is. I try to get closer, but it's getting far away. Who was the car carrying? Who's in the car? Carries my father. Weird. Maybe they went after my father first. Because I want the dead. The dead. Yeah, my dead. No, I'm awake. You finally wake up. Here. Here's a clinic. Am I in the clinic? Why should I be here? Remember, you fainted near the funeral shed. Faint? Yeah, you worried me a lot. Luckily, the clinic is nearby. After some examination, we felt reassured that you just fell asleep. Sorry, it's a problem from my young age. Sorry to worry you. It's okay, Captain Lou once informed me of your circumstances. Don't worry, try to pace yourself in this job. Thank you. By the way, what about the funeral fire? The person in charge of the funeral said it was the paper ash that fell on the wreath. But I checked the scene that the fire started in the coffin. You must be wrong, the coffin hadn't been opened. Call me a liar? The responsible person didn't claim accountability and even had no idea of who called the police. Maybe some na naughty kid. 
No one else on the fire scene? Yes, the deceased was the shop owner, Wang, who divorced years ago. He was so stingy that his relatives cut ties with him a long time. No relative cared for his death and people in the town chipped in to hold a funeral for him out of sympathy. Leave this case aside and have a good rest. Okay. Okay, phone is ringing. Is this, here's the phone, okay? Hello. The doctor's absent. Can I help you? Uh, what? Can I help you? Weird. They hang up. This. Familiar glucose vial hang on the infusion rack. I often ran a fever without any reason at my young age. Even doctors didn't know why. My grandma knew a god old woman who said I was cursed and could entail ghosts. The last time I met the god woman was at my father's funeral. Upon seeing me, she sighed and said, It's an act of providence that you can entail ghosts. Be a policeman in the future and unhold justice. Okay, and here I am as a policeman. Whoa! <laughs> I turned it off. Here's a local case. On September 15, a family of four was found dead in their home in Quinnington Town. The householder, Tian, his wife and his granddaughter dead of rat poison while his daughter-in-law hanged herself. Okay, so three died of rat poison, one hanged herself. The police suspected the daughter-in-law poisoned the other three due to her mental problems, then she committed suicide. The case is still under investigation. Welcome to the public to provide clues. There is a key beside the TV set. Great, I got the key. A key to the clinic. Uh, is this to this door? I open the door with a key. Yep. Episode 1 Telephone Ring. I'm, uh, I'm actually surprised this is still demo. How do you feel, sir? Uh, are you the doctor here? Yes, my name is Yi. E. Glad to see you. Many thanks for today, Doc E. I'm a doctor. It's my duty to save lives. Well, I haven't seen you before. You're new here. Yeah, I just registered yesterday. No wonder. Wing Han is a rather humid place. Newcomers can't quite get used to it. You'll get better. With some rest. Want a cigarette? No thanks, I don't smoke. So rare, all cops I know are heavy smokers, especially the veterans. Cigarette gives them inspiration. I haven't handled any cases, I know nothing about this. That's how it is. Well, I don't tell anyone that I smoke. I always persuade the old in the town to smoke less. It can be justified if they knew that I smoke. I wonder the next door is Wang's grocery store? Yup, what's wrong? Nothing, just something weird at the funeral. I want to learn about it. Do you know how Wang died? That's a shopkeeper. He died a few days before he was found. I haven't seen the body, so it's hard to say. People in town say he died in a horrible way, just like he was claimed by a ghost. By a ghost? It is related to an earlier murder case where the whole family was killed. Oh, okay, the three died from red poison and one hung herself? It is the case of the Tian family. I saw it on TV. 
Yes, after the case, Wang spread rumors around that the daughter-in-law of the family was a lunatic and killed the whole family in the attack. People say Wang spoke ill of her, so he was claimed by her ghost. Let's see. Of course, I'm a doctor, I don't believe in this. Perhaps Wang um, himself has cardiovascular disease, which broke out due to mental tension. Oops. It's probably an electric circuit breaker. I'll go check it out. If it's too dark for you, sir, in a black van outside there are candles. Right. The yeah, black van candles. Black van candles. Is this outside? Yes. Black van. There are a few candles in the ladder next to the seat. Okay, we got a candle. Nice. By the candlelight, one can see several boxes of fireworks. Why does the clinic's van have fireworks? It's not far from the funeral shed. Dr. E might have known about the fire at the funeral. Strange. Do I go back? What's this way? Nothing. Okay. This. There are signs that something has been hung on the wall. Seems like a silk banner by outline. Okay. Some kind of silk banner used to be there on the wall. What is this? Yeah, the same room. The door was covered with thick spider web. Maybe we can clear the web. Uh, candles? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's try to go left, maybe? A similar willow tree stands beside my old house. Grandma said it was the root of the lens and would bless our family. Dad didn't believe in that. The day he was buried, the willow tree whimpered as if crying. Okay, wait a second. So, is this anything here? No. So this is the only way to go. There were two wires in the electrical box. One was burned out and the other seemed to be working. Oh boy. Okay, we got our first puzzle, guys. Okay, so one is burned out and one is working. Which one? Oh look, looks like the blue one is burned out, right? Yeah. Okay, so maybe I just connect the red one. Okay, so far so good. That wasn't much of a puzzle. Cool. Power's back on. Oh, what? You are... Isn't the case closed? What are you doing here? Uh, the case? Are you new here? Been here for a short while. What's the case you were talking about, please? I'm Chan, a support teacher at... Quinton Primary School. Wait a minute. Remember we read something in the post earlier, like 10 minutes ago? That something happened to the teacher at this exactly school? I can't, I don't know if she died or what. I can't, I cannot, honestly, I cannot remember, remember. A month ago, my student teen and her mom and grandparents were found dead at home. 
Okay, she was the teacher of that dead family. But you guys are suspecting that Fang Fang's mom killed the whole family. I know Fang Fang's mother, she couldn't have killed Fang Fang. Fang Fang. <laughs> I love that name. What evidence have you got? I'm looking for it. What evidence can the clinic have? You will know it when I find it and submit it to the press. I don't think that's legal. Mr. Chan, considering you are here as a support teacher, I will make things difficult for you. But don't take anything away. It will be difficult if you are found, found out. Also, my last name is Lin, and I am a detective from Criminal Investigation Brig Brigade. I don't know how to pronounce that. Brigade? I'm right around the corner. You can call me if you get into trouble. Okay, thanks. Okay, um... You might be able to find valuable evidence here. Thank you. A red umbrella that's dripping? It's, maybe it's hers. Dead ahead. With so many lives killed one case, in one case, the superiors must be taking it seriously. Captain Lou shouldn't decide it on a verdict of the case at will. Let's gather more information about the Tian's case first. Okay, that's the uh, dead family. Okay, this is blocked. This is a lucky tree. Whoa, whoa. Who is this? Blurred silhouettes of people. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Can be seen through the windows. Okay, we have to go in this door. And there's nobody here, right? Next is strange news related to the Tian family's case. Residents in the town claimed receiving phone calls in the midnight seven days after the Tians all died. Exactly weak. They could only hear the sound of a taut rope as it were hanging something heavy. Is what I heard to you when the phone rang? The phone numbers are from the Tian's family's store. The police said this was fake news, please do not spread rumors. I don't know, I heard it myself. Here we go. Oh, it's not this one? Where is the f second phone at? Am I missing something here? Okay, wait a minute. Is this way. Aha. Here we go. Two voice recordings are displayed on the phone screen. Hello? Are you E? We're from Criminal Investigation Department. You must have heard the case of Tian's family. Witness said that Tian's daughter-in-law, Zhao, went to your clinic half an hour before the case happened. We want to know why she went there, what medicine did she buy, how was her mental state then. Hope you can cooperate with us, looking forward to your early reply. Sir, this is Yi. Zhao did come here before the accident. She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and wanted to buy some cough medicine. She left after taking the medicine. Everyone in the clinic saw it and I have receipts for all the prescriptions here. Contact me if you have more to ask. 
Okay, so she just got some cop syrup. That's the sound of cars starting outside the door. The van seems to be heading towards the funeral shed. Why are they going to the funeral shed so late at night? Something fishy. Let's go check it out. Okay. Can move forward. What? Where are we now? Like trees and stuff. There are several tombs, tombs, in the distance looking very gloomy in the dark. Gordon blocks the way, get in or not. Oh yeah. Okay. What is happening? On the post box was Tian's Here is the Tian's house. Let's check the crime scene first. Okay. Uh, okay, so I went up the ladder. Hang on. Did I look everywhere else? Let's check outside first. Uh, there are four empty bowls on the floor. Interesting. Okay, we got four empty bowls. I don't know what that is. The road behind is swamp with fog and darkness. Okay. Okay, so this is right above this, um... What is this? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Please dial the phone number. Okay, hang on a second, so... Is it 110? Hmm, maybe it's zero? One one zero. Okay, so I don't know the number yet. So we might have to come back. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> There's a note on the wall. Um Hmm. Okay, so if we're looking at the phone, that would mean it's 2357. Let's try that. Yes, yes. Hello, today's Bang Fang's birthday. Don't forget to fetch the cake before you return home. The cake order form was washed with the clothes. Now, there's only half left in the washing machine. My waist hurts and I can't bend down to take out the receipt. The other half might be in the pocket of the clothes hung out. Be careful next time, check pockets out before you wash clothes. Okay, did I, am I writing this down? The sounds owner may be a woman in her mid-age. Okay, the owner might be a, sounds like a woman. Okay, yeah, it sounds like a woman in mid-age. The place to hang out close might be outside. Okay, so I'm gonna check the pockets. Call me when you find the order. The calendar is still on September 22nd. Nobody 
The crown falls on September 15. Why the calendar is on seven days later? Wait a minute. Oh, 20, 20 seconds, as it says? Yeah, 20 second. Not 12. 20 second. The door is locked. Okay, let's think about this. The crime was the 15th, but somebody is keep flipping the calendar for the next seven days. Is that right? Am I getting this? Hope so. Okay, let's find those clothes. Fog in darkness. Got it, got it. No, it's probably upstairs, right? Let's go. Okay, wait a minute. Here's pants. Something in the pocket of the wet pants. Aha, part of the receipt. Of the cake order. September 21st. Oh, now, okay, now this is the first sign that this is... This takes place in 2004. Okay. Oh, who is this? Oh, and she disappeared. It's a ghost. I can see ghosts. The door is locked. So, there are no more clothes. I want to check the pants again. Wet pants. That's it. Empty. Door is locked. Okay, I guess let's go back downstairs and let's go inside. See what's out there. Sure, there's nothing here now. Oh, door opened. Okay, we're in a you know, sort of laundry room. Okay, maybe we'll find clothes in here. The washer lid is firmly shut and a piece of paper lies on it. Mirrors can reflect reality and penetrate the hearts of people. Look yourself in the mirror and find the truth in the illusion. I got volume 2, The Bright Mirror. The lid could only be opened when the knob is twisted in the right place. There may be some clues around. There seemed to be something behind the curtain. Okay, more clothes. Outside the window was a wall painted with strange symbols. Oh, is that the maybe pointer to the knob? Oh, this okay, case, so there's, there's three of them. The washer lid is firmly shut and it can be opened when the knob is twisted in the right place. First, check the clues in the room. Okay, so I can't even do anything, okay. So we got one clue. There's a half drawn strange sign on the inner side of the bathtub. Inner side of the. Okay, so that doesn't really help me. Or maybe the point of the arrow is actually that means it's down somewhere right it's a dead end okay turn on the shower nozzle or not some water in the tub um what freaking tub Oh, this tub. I see. The different sign on the water surface could form a complete si sign with one on the inner side. Okay, I'm gonna write those all those signs down here. And this one is red for some reason. Okay, so we got one. Here's a second one. 
and it's got two dots. Maybe that does that mean it's second? Yeah, this one's got three dots, so that one must be third. Um, and here is another one. That's the first one. Okay. Got it. I saw them look in the mirror. My grandma said I was cursed and looking in the mirror would entail ghosts. After my dad died, I only looked in the mirror once. If the mirror I saw dad's clothes, in the mirror I saw dad's clothes hanging on the wall behind me, it was exactly the green police uniform dripping blood. I haven't looked in the mirror since then. I didn't remember my child look and I feel strange looking at myself. Okay, I think we can solve the puzzle now. Okay, so the first one, it was all the way here. Second one pointed this way, and the third one uh, was here as well. Not correct. What? First one pointing this way, second one pointing this way, third one pointing this way. Did I get the circles right? What in the world? Maybe it's the opposite? No, it shouldn't be. Yeah, I mean, did everything right? That was the second one. But what did that do? Oh. Huh. I don't get it. Okay. The wall in the mirror was painted with strange signs. Wait a minute, it's a mirror, right? So that not ex that's, that might be a reflection of it. So it could be in a dif different position. Hang on a second. Okay, so let's do... We know this one's... Aha! Okay, cool. Open the washer lid. A sh half sheet of paper lies on, at the bottom of the roller. Press Z to combine orders. It's the cake ordered for Fang Fang. But on September 21st, four members of the Tian family had already died. Who ordered the cake? Get a complete cake order receipt. Yep, I got that. Oh, door shot. Who that? The door is locked. Oh, that sucks. It's a ghost. Oh! What? This room is the morgue in the our police station. Okay, weird. A dead body lies in the morgue and an aut autopsy report is next to it. Wait, that's my body! Medical autopsy report of the forensic medical laboratory of the criminal. Isn't that my body, Zhao, or no? No, that's a female. Hang on a second. Okay, maybe it's one of the family members then. 
The disease died of a shock caused by asphyxia. No other trauma or signs of struggle. But combining the results of, on, of the scene investigation and the interviews, we can confirm that the diseased committed suicide. Okay, that's the one that hung herself. In addition, the hair of the deceased was tangled with a telephone on the crime scene. For the convenience of the autopsy, some of their hair had to be cut. It is suggested that the victim's body was turned and tossed after a hanging, causing the lone hair to get tangled in the telephone wire. Gotta report. Um, all those things I got so far. Okay. That's the hair. Hair wrapped around the sink. There seems to be something in the bottom of the sink. Okay, so I need to get it somehow, right? Okay, got it. The scissors, maybe? A pair of sharp scissors. Thanks on the shelf, yes. Let's try those. Sink filled with hair. Use scissors, check other sides. Use scissors. I got a key. Sweet. Okay, key to what? To this? Okay, it's locked. Electricity box is locked. Use the key, yes. Fantastic. Two buttons on the electricity box. Turn the red one, turn the blue one. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know. Red? Oh, it came to life. There might be something beneath the thick hair. Pull away, yes. What in the world? There is a pig's head for sacrifice on the birthday cake. Oh my god. The word sacrifice on the head looks unusual in the light. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so let's do the blue one now. The word sacrifice in the head looks unusual in the light. The word color might have something meaning. Note it down. The word color. Note it. Get I got note of words on the cake. Okay. We got the red and we got the blue. They all say sacrifice, right? Interesting. Well, we got the door opened. Oh, hi. You still uh, looking for evidence? That the same girl, right? Teacher Chan, what are you doing here? This is Feng Feng's house. I'm looking for clues. Well, you said the case was settled. Did I make any trouble to be in the crime scene? Mr. Chan, all information about the Tian's family case and the autopsy report showed Zhao committed suicide. And from news, Zhao hanged herself after the death of her family. So? If I return home to see family members poisoned, even if they're dead, I would also dial 120 for the first place. So probably a 911, basically, like, right? You mistook it. After the death of Fang Fang's dad, Fang Fang was Zhao's only spiritual support. Fang Fang was the apple of Zhao's eyes. After the crime, all through. 
Although Zhao was crazy, but I knew she didn't. Seeing the dead body of her beloved child in sober moments was really depressing. So you think someone poisoned Feng Feng's family? And Zhao committed suicide due to mental breakdown when she saw Feng Feng's dead body? Do you think it could be possible? I can't say anything until I find out more clues. What clues do you want? I want to know why you went to the clinic. Is Dr. Yi connected with the case? Yi had reasons to kill the family? Oh! Two years ago, Feng Feng's dad, Tian, was sent to the emergency room of Yi's clinic due to seizure, but he still died. Feng Feng's grandpa, Tian, believed Yi killed his son. He was not only smashed it was not only smashed clinic, but also broke several of Yi's ribs. Oh man. Yi ended up lying in the hospital bed for almost a month and compensated a lot to the Tian's family. Moreover, Zhao had been to clinic before the crime. Her family all died when she came back. Um, that makes sense. Maybe he poisoned them. Do you think there's some co coincidence? Dr. Yi said Zhao came to the to buy cough medicine, and there were other patients on the scene. Who knows if his drugs are good or not. Anyway, the Tian's family are already dead, and he could cook up any story. So you went to the clinic to find evidence of Dr. Yi's crime? Yes, but Yi was clever enough to hide all the clues. Did you figure out anything else? No. I would check other sides. It's okay, I will go first. Sides, places. I mean, that's probably what I meant. Teacher Chang looks strange. Did he figure out anything here? I think it was supposed to be she. Okay, game auto saved. Where are we going now? There might be other things to investigate. Okay. Call me when you find the order. Okay, wait a second. Red and blue. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, how to get out of here? Yes, uh, yes, he says I'm trying to look at my notes. Items. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Yes. Okay. So we got one one four eight. One one four eight. Okay. So red is one. Um. And eight. And. Okay, yeah, both reds are one, and blue ones are either f four or eight. So one four eight one maybe. Yes. We sold the cake. Fang Fang really likes it. Your father-in-law said Feng Feng's classmates would come to tonight's birthday party. We must be well prepared. Remember to take some ready-made food from the restaurant. Fish is a must. Both Ayu Ayu and Feng Feng are into it. This morning again I found Feng Feng left the key at the dining table. She has been so forgetful at her young age. What if one day the key was taken by some stranger? Children learn from adults. You must be a good model. Alright. So we are back. Um... 
It's a dead end. What do I do then? Okay, here's the door. Alright, can we go up yet? We got the key, right? Oh, there's a candle that's... One candle that's not lit. Oh, the cake is there. There are moldy cakes in the balls. Balls. Let's check the cake. Which one? The third one is the one who didn't have a candle lit, right? Try that one. Aha. Uh -huh. Got the key. Oh boy. Who's leaving? Where is the car sound from? Oh my god, picture just appeared. There's a girl, ghost par portrait behind the fence. It looks like Fang Fang's photo. Go we'll get it. And it's gone. Seriously? Where is it? Okay, well we got the key. This is the first time I've ever been on the crime scene. I take a deep breath and inhale, exhale it out. After making sure there is no air in my chest, I pick up the key. What? Phone call from the supermarket. Okay, I have to go back. Which one is it? Only dead silence and a rustle of noise. Hello? Hi, Mr. Officer. Dr. Yi? We only met once. How could you remember my voice? You also know my voice. That's interesting. I was busy and didn't hear the phone call just now. You made the phone call? The phone call? Not me. I didn't see who made it. That's strange, but the number is from Tian's family. Something strange in the newspaper in the news happened to me. I saw the news. Did other people in the town also receive such phone calls? Words in the town say it on September 15, some classmates of the granddaughter received strange phone calls. That day was also the granddaughter's birthday. One day before, someone ordered a cake in the city's cake store. The cake is for the granddaughter. I knew all this. Now people in the town avoid direct contact with the Tian's house, fearing terrible things befalling on them. Mr. Officer, I am curious, what are you doing in their house? Something about the Tian's family case puzzled me. I want to check out check again what dr yi zhao went to your clinic before the crime right yeah in this season people are vulnerable to getting cold or running fever there there were many patients in the clinic that day they were all they also mrs zhao do the tian family usually go to your clinic there is a subtle, almost imperceptible laugh from the microphone. I got it. You must have heard something about me and the Tian's family. That's true. After that incident, the Tian family never came to my clinic. So I was also surprised when Mrs. Zhao suddenly came to the clinic that day. What did she say? She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and asked me for a certain brand of cough medicine. Then she left. I see, thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome, I can't help you with this case. Are you still working on it? If there is something hidden about this case, I can't turn blind eyes on it. 
I ask you in the clinic if you smoke and you said no, you said you hadn't done any case. I thought you were a rookie cop. But it's remarkable you have detected these clues in such a short time. I really want to know how did you figure out. But I am busy right now, maybe next time we could have a long talk. Bye, Mr. Officer. Okay. He was in the clinic at the time of the crime. Other patients were witnessed. He was indeed a minor suspect. Yet. He seemed to be spreading strange rumors about Tian's family and showed great interest in the case. And he recognized my voice when I only said hello. He seemed to be lurking in a corner nearby watching everything. Okay, is this... Like this is the end of the demo. And we'll continue with a full version, which I'll be do doing translation, hopefully. I can figure it out. Oh my god! What the crap is this? Not good. Oh my holy crap! I just got ran over by a car. Actually, it was a van. Don't blame me. The trial version of the game is over. Thanks for trying out for me. The full version is in the way. Okay, let's continue with full version, guys.